Good morning. I'm the only one awake right now because I've been a little ranty lately. I'm going to edit something that I recorded way back when. Uh, because even though I kind of was like, eh, this sucks, now I can edit it better and everything else kind of sucks instead. I'm trying to be in a good mood and I want to edit a video. So that's why I've been doing a couple of, I'm going to edit an old video. That's all I'm saying. Here it is. do my hair toss. So anyway, I've watched a few YouTubers try something called Miracle Berries. I was curious enough to put it on a wish list. And my husband got it for me for Christmas. Oh my gosh, I've got a ticket to Flavor. It's going to be a 30 minute ride. Oh my gosh. I have had a bit of a, a bit of a time recently. Okay, it definitely tastes like some sort of berry. I don't know how else to describe this. <laughs> it's still dissolved, my teeth. My tongue doesn't feel weird or anything. What are miracle berries? According to this paper, Emberry contains no sugars or additives and through a 100% naturally occurring phenomenon, turns sour, acidic, and bitter flavored sweet. Lemons become sweet lemonade. Apple cider vinegar assumes the flavor of apple juice and strawberries transform into powdered sugar. What? How it works. The effects of miracle berries are made possible. I gotta read this line right. Begin enjoying foods and drinks as you never experienced them before. Small's bit left. A few minutes later. My tongue is now coated. It doesn't look different. There's a few things it suggests to try. I don't have all of these. I have a lot of random stuff. I don't have a real lemon, so I only have this. We've been very sick lately, so there's a lot of these. Too many. Okay. I got a little sourness in the beginning, but as you see, it wasn't so sour that I made a face. I just drank straight up lemon juice. Okay, sure, why not? Tasted like, tasted like lemonade. I have these. Oh snap. Dilly Bites. They're a little sweet. It didn't ruin the pickles, thank goodness. They still taste like dill. You know what? The way people react, it might just be a YouTuber thing. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe it's just because I'm too... Yeah, that's weird. Instead of... Oh my god! Sweet Baby Ray's. We got some barbecue sauce. So this one's got a little bit of a kick. I know. That tastes like McDonald's barbecue sauce. I haven't had McDonald's in a really, really long time, so maybe I'm misremembering. But it tastes like fast food barbecue sauce. Like good ba ba fast food barbecue sauce, but because of the sweetness, I think. This isn't bad, but it's, I'm definitely feeling a zing on my tongue. It's not like that went away. I've got coffee. I don't typically put sugar in my coffee. I only put a little bit of half and half. So let's try. Tastes like regular coffee. <laughs> okay. All right. I have these. Um, mandarin, tangerines, whatever you want to call them. They actually, I think they're a little bit sweeter than they probably would have been if I hadn't had the berry. They're not like, oh, oh yeah, so like, oh, yeah, it's a little sweeter. Apples. A very sweet apple. It tasted a little more like as if somebody had sugared it a little bit. Pineapple. I know these had a little more zing, so I think that just kind of like dulled the zing a little bit. They say try cheese. I have a slice of American cheese. Would you believe it? It tastes like cheese. Okay, I guess because there's no acidity in that, it just won't change the flavor. There's no acidity in this in this french fry either, so. French fry. Some Pringles. This is pizza flavor. Okay. 
tastes like regular Pringles. <laughs> tastes like sour cream and onion Pringles. Fried rice. No. It's not changing that stuff. There's no reason this will do anything. It's clearly um, for like the most acidic stuff. But it still like, wasn't as dramatic as I was expecting. With the pickles. They still taste like dill pickle. They're called bread and butter pickles. You know, those have more of a sweetness to them. They don't, they don't go that far. It's more like just a, a sweeter dill pickle. Okay. I've let another one dissolve on my tongue. And I found out that it's good to wait a little bit. But there have been some people who have reported that they haven't noticed any effect. I'm noticing small effects, not huge monumental ones, so there's a chance that I'm just one of those people. That would be fun for this video, wouldn't it? That would be great. But it's the truth. I guess it happens. I gave it a little time, and because the first one dissolved a while ago, we're going to try this again. Pickles. Sweet dough. It's the same. I guess for some people the effect is not quite so dramatic. One of the people online even said, wait five minutes. Wait a full five minutes and then it finally started working. It should be working. It should be. But again, everybody's different. So I guess what this might end up being <laughs> is less a, wow, look what it did to my taste buds. And more like, yeah, some people, this is what it does. Yeah, that's the same. The cheese tasted exactly the same. I don't know why that's even listed on their, their paper. I'm assuming somebody has an experience with Or maybe they just mean soul cheese. Yeah, this tastes like regular American. I don't have any, any other cheese right now. Here's my honest review. For the things that I tried with it, kind of made some of them a little sweeter. It really didn't do what I was expecting. So if you're planning on buying these, just like, know that you might be like me. Sorry that that was uh, not as exciting as I hoped for, but I tried. And that's it. Have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye. Short answer, you take a pill, it dissolves in your tongue, changes things to make them sweeter. I have an array of items to try. It's just definitely not what I was expecting. Thank <laughs> you.